I got it. These aren't telling us anything. Look, Mr. Chase's last letter, written eight days before he died. My own blessed wife. I was captured together with Mr. Foley and Mr. Hill of my company on the 28th of October, 1864, and we were thereby made prisoners of war to the Confederate government. I am in excellent health and spirits. Don't worry one particle about me. Signed, Heber Chase. Let me have a look. What's this letter written on March 15th? Uh, that was written by the man who finally delivered the letters after Chase died. Miss Heber Chase, in reply to yours of February 21st, I must say I can give you but very little information at this late day regarding your husband who died in the Salisbury prison. I recollect there was such a person there, and I'd brought out some photographs for the same, and I believe a letter. But after I got out, I was taken sick and was on my bed for two months during which time I had lost a great many relics I brought out of prison. So, some of the letters may never have even been discovered? Like this one? We've already been over that. There's nothing special about it. Look at the back. That's the Are you telling me something used to be written there? I don't see a thing. Let's take another look. A seven-pointed star? Some of the Cherokee Nation. I mean, treasure. You thinking what I'm thinking? So why are we at a graveyard? Toward the end of the Civil War, the prison became a cemetery. We may not find what we're looking for here, though. The cemetery walls don't match up with the walls of the actual prison. You're smart. What are we looking for? I don't know. Anything that looks like it could have a meaning. found something. What? A seven-pointed star. Thank you. Noah, look out! Noah! A coin! 
more. Look, 